you may notice that I was not in the roots of all evil. This is because I feel that Richard Dawkins fell under my spell and is now asking me to become a member of my faith. Which, of course, I will refuse him because I do not allow people to dress like this. He has recently made another series of program called The Enemies of Reason. The Enemies of Reason, he then starts to cover the alternative medicine. Alternative medicine is the fastest growing phenomenon in the, the scientific world. I know you will be offended by this scientist, but it is a science. You cannot own wholesale the word science because from yoga to meditation to homeopathy to astrology, it is all a form of science that believes in a connection with our real world. Science, on the other hand, chooses to ignore this fact, like the fact that it doesn't fucking matter. Let's take care of ourselves. Science corrupts. In the enemies of reason, he attempts to completely dismantle the alternative medicine world. This is very stupid. The reason that it is the fastest growing phenomenon in the medical world is because it fucking works. Science, medical science, in a traditional way, not that I don't know why they call it a traditional way, the conventional way of Western medicine does not work. It does work in certain circumstances. I know you're going to talk about antibiotics again. But antibiotics have probably caused more problems than they have cured. Antibiotics are wonderful. I would not be here if it were not for antibiotics and probably 50% of you people out there listening to my wise words. But antibiotics, as was warned at the time of their discovery by Alexander Fleming or Louis Pasteur, whoever the fuck it was, he made an audio recording warning people not to overuse antibiotics for, for it may threaten the health of the immune system which is what has happened. MRSA, for example, the hospital superbug, my father died from this. It is a fact that MRSA is caused by a breakdown in the immune system, not by dirty hospitals, as everybody says. Hospitals have in fact never been cleaner, clinically. The truth is, by the time somebody reaches hospital, ready for surgery, he has gone through the carousel of the Western medicine. In doing so, the doctors prescribe antibiotics for practically everything, which, after some time, your immune system says suddenly, ah, I don't need to fucking exist. And so it becomes very weak and at times completely ineffective. This makes people vulnerable. I digress. Our population is probably two to three times more than this Earth is capable of supporting. It's cruel, I know some people must die, but germs and disease is the hitman of nature that brings a balance to life. This thing, this, the humans have broken this balance, partly the responsibility of scientists. Now, Richard Dawkins, I know it is incredible what the medical science has come up with and done for you. You have yes, taken you from a wheelchair, from being a total ticket, to a reasonably looking boyish, charming man. A man who is very good on television, but always has the benefit of the cutting room floor, as they call it in the film industry. This is editing. It is a fact that all knowledge is second-hand 
unless you absolutely touch it first time in its pure form. If it is relayed to you by another person or a book, it is second hand. And therefore the person delivering, or the media that is delivering this information, is corrupting it by its own influence. Therefore you can never totally trust anything that is information. You just cannot. This is a fact. Science has killed more people and maimed more people than it has saved. This is a fact. Mr. Dawkins, I challenge you to a duel of the mind any time. I will one by one reduce your theories to pure myth and show you the truth of the Bindu way. Bless you, my people.